Welcome or welcome back on any help at C squared. In this problem, we need to find this limit. Limit when x approach to 0 of sine of 3x times the quantity 1 minus cosine x over 2x squared. The first thing you want to do when you have to evaluate the limit is to take the value you see here and plug it in. If you do that, in this case, you're going to end up with 0 over 0, which is an undefined form. Therefore, we have to use some other methods to find this limit. And we're going to use these two limits, these two special trigonometric limits for finding the limit in our problem. How are we going to do that? Let's take a look. I'm going to copy again this problem. And now I'm going to separate this product you see here on the numerator. And also I will break the denominator. So I'm going to have here limit when x approach to 0 of 1 half times sine of 3x over x times 1 minus cosine x over x. So if you notice what I have now here is the same with the limit we start from. We just separate them in this way format um, then what i'm gonna do i'm gonna need a three here so i can have this sine of 3x over 3x so basically i'm gonna multiply by another three here to keep this equality you see here and now i can break uh, this limit of a product in a product of limits and i'm gonna have one half times 3 and then I'm going to have limit when x approach to 0 of sine of 3x over 3x times limit when x approach to 0 of 1 minus cosine x over x. So we end up here with 1 over 2 times 3 and this limit here is the same like this one. We have 3x and 3x. And that will be 1. And the second limit, this one, you notice is right here. And that is 0. So we have this product of these four numbers. One of them is 0. So obviously the product will be 0. So this limit, limit on x approach to 0 of sine of 3x times the quantity 1 minus cosine x over 2x squared is 0. You can see that also in this graph, once we get closer to 0 from the left side or the right side, the function is getting closer to 0, so the limit is 0. The function is undefined as 0, you can see a hole there. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-squared for more help. Thank you.